How's it going, game lovers? It is I, the Miser of Dungeons, back with another ultra-cheap episode to fill your dungeon with monsters without draining your piggy bank. This week's show is a viewer request for a classic monster that goes all the way back to the first days of tabletop role-playing. The iconic Rust Monster was originally based on a knockoff Japanese movie monster that was included in cheap bags of prehistoric animals imported from China in the 1960s and 70s. This monster is generally harmless to the health of a character, but it induces absolute terror in players because it destroys metal, even the enchanted stuff. Hit points can be healed, but magical armor and weaponry is hard to come by. There are of course plenty of commercial rust monsters for sale. Prices start at about $4 and go way up from there. We can make a pile of rust monsters for a whole lot less, plus we can have some fun and make some rusty monsters that aren't for sale anywhere. The basic rust monster is super simple to make. First find yourself a quadruped dinosaur toy and a big toy ant to go with it. I'm using this triceratops, but any four-legged dinosaur that has a long pointy tail and fits on a 25 millimeter base will do. Just snip off the head and drill a hole in the neck to pin on a new one. The new head I chose has nice jaws and big eyes, but we'll need to fix those antenna. To make those, I just snip off two of the legs and glue them in place of the old, shorter antenna. To make the flared tail, I snipped the tips off of two spider legs at an angle and glued them to the end of the dinosaur tail. Below those, I snipped some ends of the other ant legs and added those underneath. I based it and primed it with the Mod Podge and then some rusty paint. Now drop it in your dungeon and watch them poop their pantaloons. The look you get depends greatly on the type of dinosaur and bug you mix up, so you can really experiment with your design until you get the style you like. Total cost, six pennies for the dinosaur, six pennies for the ant, a penny for the base, and two pennies for art supplies. So 15 pennies each, or six rust musters for a dollar. Now for fun, I want to make a Big Mama Rust Monster. This is a very similar process, except she's going to be made from a much bigger dinosaur. I snipped the neck off of this 5 inch long brontosaurus toy. Next I took a head with nice big jaws from this plastic beetle and stuck it on the front. For the tail, I borrowed some dorsal fins from a shark toy and attached those to the tip. I also salvaged two of the beetle legs and those went under the shark fins. For the antenna, I looked around at a lot of different bug legs, but I finally settled on these legs from a big mantis toy that was in the bag of bugs. Those got super glued underneath the jaws facing forward. And finally I covered the neck joint with tissue and glue to fill in the gap, and then covered the neck and back with split peas to make a nice lumpy armor similar to the original Chinese toy that inspired her.
after a good coating of Mod Podge, base prime, and paint. And here is the big rusty mama ready to snack on your shiny things. This is a good monster to use when dealing with higher level characters and it makes a good mount for an extra challenge. Imagine a gang of goblins chucking arrows down on the party from a crude panklin while Rusty Mama happily chows down on their weapons and armor. Total cost, 14 pennies for the dino, 5 pennies for the beetle, a penny for the base, and 3 pennies for art supplies, so 23 pennies each, or 4 for a dollar. Okay, so now we have a Rusty Mama, let's make some valuable Rusty Eggs and some dangerous Rusty Babies. For a Rust Monster nest, I'm going to pile up some plastic scraps on a 33 millimeter base. Just some plastic cut from trash is fine. A bit of a gear from an old toy, some cotton swab straw for pipes, a broken shield and sword from a plastic knight, and so on. That gets sprinkled with some sand to make a rough rusty texture for the metal scrap and to bind the mess together. For the eggs I glue on some dry black beans standing straight up. Just about any dry round legume will work here. I have used navy beans, kidney beans, and pintos as monster eggs in the past. So use whatever you have. That gets some Mod Podge and then a nice rusty paint job for a nice bit of scattered terrain. To make the hatchlings, I have some smaller plastic ants. I snip the head and abdomen off the thorax with the legs and save the middle for another project. I gave the neck and abdomen a good trim and fit them together and then glued it to the base. I used 7 ants on a 50 millimeter base to make a swarm of hungry rusty babies, but you can base these on 25 millimeter for individual grubs also. Mod Podge Prime and Paint, and here's the finished eggs and grub. Now I use this for rust monsters, but you could use these eggs and grubs for nearly any insectoid monster, or stat them as something else completely. You can swap out the scrap pile nest for mud or straw or even bones, and change the color scheme to be whatever you want. Cost is very good. Uh, for the rusty nest, it was a penny for the base and a penny for the art supplies. So two pennies each, or 50 nests for a dollar. For the grubs, it was seven pennies for the ants, a penny for the base, and a penny for the art supplies, so nine pennies each, or eleven swarms for a dollar. For the single grub, it was a penny for the ant, a penny for the base, and a penny for the art supplies, so three pennies each, or thirty-three grubs for a dollar. So now you have the entire Rusty family to sick on your players. I don't think there are any official monster stats for Rusty Mama or her babies, but that just means your players will have even more fun fighting a monster when they have no idea what it can do. Is a swarm of rust grubs weaker than a rust monster? Or do they dissolve armor even faster as a team? What are those rusty eggs worth to an alchemist? Is a Rusty Mama protective of her nests? It's your game, you tell me. Thank you to all my viewers, and if you want to save a bundle on tabletop miniatures, hit that like and subscribe button to learn how to make all the miniatures you need for a fraction of the commercial prices. And if you have any viewer requests, let me know in the comments. If I can make it, I will. Have a great game!